Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I'm going to have another tutorial in our unofficial menu series and I'm going to show you how to add a point on top of the drop down menu in your Divi menu module. So I do this on a lot of the child themes I create and I thought hey I'm going to show you how to do this because I think it's kind of a really cool thing and it kind of sets your Divi drop down menu apart and you know it kind of de divi -fies that if that's such a thing. All right, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let's get started. Okay, so once again, if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to click on the link in the description down below to pull up the blog post in a new tab because you're gonna to wanna to, um, go down here and grab the CSS snippet that we have. So this tutorial is really like an extension to our last tutorial. We talked about, um, well, not our last one, but one of our other ones on how to style the Divi um, menu, the drop down, the sub menu here. And we broke it down into like three parts. And you can see how it looks by default. It's pretty boring. Um, here's a little bit of a diagram of how it's working um, with padding and, you know, the borders and things like that. Um, and then we broke it down even further and targeted. So, like, you're going to want to really use that. Um, I think. I think the two of these, I think this is an extension. So let's go over here to our example. And we just have a very simple example set up. We have three menu items and, and we want to put a point on top here. Um, so let's go into our blog post and go down and find the snippet. And so this one's, this one's pretty quick. So what this is going to do, it's going to actually, um, it's kind of like an interesting trick with borders and transparency. Um, so we're actually putting a you know a triangle on the top of this. So let's go ahead and put this in our CSS. So I'm gonna enable the visual builder and put it in the page CSS. Okay, so down here in the purple menu item, open that, go to the settings, and then the advanced tab. And I'm showing you here because it's easy to see it live. If you wanted, you could actually go to the custom CSS in the theme options. So let's paste. So right now we've added um, a point on top and you may be thinking, well, that looks terrible. And it does, but I wanna point something out here first. The green collar is this very last item. So you're gonna to wanna to change that to the same collar that you use for the background on your sub menu. So I'm gonna show you that here. Go into the menu module and the design tab, the drop down menu the very first one here says menu background color. So let's make it match right now. So you can see that. Now there's also that nasty blue line. So let's make that match as well. And then since these got dark, let's just go ahead and make these white for now. Okay. Okay. So there you can see that we have the background added and it matches the point. Now you may think like what's with, um, you know, this, the sub menu being a little too close to the services. We can actually change that, and this is kind of a bonus. Go into your menu text, and go down here to menu line height, and let's just crank that up to something reasonable, and see how it moves that down. So that's how you want to fix that. Now, this point, you could put it in the middle. I kind of have it to the left side, because I, I just personally like it there. But you'll notice in here in the code, it says left 20%. Let's change that. Let's just make it 50 for now. And you can see it puts it in the middle. Now you would also want to center, you know, the, the menu items here to make everything match. But yeah, that's just one of the things you could do to customize this. You're not going to want to mess with too much of this, just the, the left and then the collar at the bottom. So like I said, you might want to grab the other tutorial that we have. And one of the things you could do, you could come over there to that tutorial, how to style the Divi sub menu. And you could grab this here. And I'm just going to show you this real quick. What if we wanted to make that drop down have like a little bit of a roundedness to it? So let's put this in here. There where it says your CSS. Let's just say border radius. And let's just make it 10 pixels. And then see what that tiny little change did for us. See how it's rounded? It just adds that nice effect to it. Um, so I really like the rounded border here and the point. So again, you can grab that in the other tutorial. And you know, I had a lot of people ask me about this point on top because I use it in a lot of child themes and on our website. So I hope this helps. Okay, so that's how you add a point on top of your Divi menu module, sub menus, and drop down menus. 
If you found that useful, be sure to let me know by subscribing, and we'll see you in the next video.